we're gonna head out for a little date it's been such a long time ever since having two dogs i'm thinking of exploring the zhongshan building today i think it's inspired by the zhongshan area in taiwan i've only been to this place once because there was an event there so i'm very excited to be exploring this area of kl today Hey, yes, yes, yes. This place is cute, but I don't know where are the stores. <laughs> My honey is all crystallized now because I left it outside. It should be safe to drink. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Happy tax season, everyone. I'm currently sorting through my receipt. Not gonna lie, I'm always a little confused during this season. But I'm just trying to do what I can to make sure everything is good to go. This is my 2023 file that I use to keep all of my receipts. And for 2024, we are downgrading to this little notebook. Yeah, this will do. I just need a place to store all of my receipts and I like to do it the old school way. To be honest, I haven't been that good at keeping track of my receipts. For January and February, I've only collected like six receipts, which is pretty bad. Yeah, that is something that I definitely have to be better at for the rest of the year. If you're someone that is self-employed or has a freelance job, it's really important for you to keep track of your receipts, especially for your business expense, because that would help a lot in terms of tax deduction. I made a mistake of not doing that during my first year of working for myself, and I have to pay the price for that, so yeah also look how cute is my little airpod case ah. it has its own little headphones and it acts as like a handle as well i love it so much i found this on shopee and i think they shipped it from china but i got it within like four days
got a little daily bowl from stuff. I love food like this. Lunch time! Mm. Mm -mm. I haven't ordered takeout in a while, which is something that I'm really proud of myself. Oh my chubby, you're so cute. Chubby. No, you can't have this. Today is just gonna be a really chill day at home. I had a shoot with a local florist brand yesterday for the whole entire afternoon. It's for a Raya campaign, so you guys will probably see the postings and the pictures during the Raya season. It was such a fun experience. I'm so glad that I said yes to it and not let my imposter syndrome stop me from doing that. This is my first time being a talent for a shoot, like a legit shoot. So yeah, that was fun. I'm gonna put up some little sneak peek pictures on screen right now. It was also my first time wearing a Nyonya Kabaya. It was so pretty, I love it. I, I'm just really excited about the postings. Hopefully, I look good in them. Look at him, he's so cute. I love spending like the afternoon with him like this. 2024 is the year that I really want to push myself out of my comfort zone and just really push myself out of my way to just try new things. I have quite a big life changes that is coming up. I'm going to share more of it in the future because it still hasn't happened yet so I don't want to talk about it at all. I'm, just <laughs> I'm really excited about this change and I just know that it's going to be good for me. So. Why you look like that? Why you look at me like that? Hmm? Why you look at me like that? Every time I eat, this is what happened. <laughs> February was such a good month and I'm just so happy to be where I am in life right now. Very grateful. I'm just really excited for March to come because I'm going to be going to Korea at the end of March. The last time I went to Seoul was seven years ago and I went there with my mom and my sister and at the time I wasn't really that interested in the Korean culture. I don't watch any K-drama so it wasn't as fun at that time and I also didn't have money to shop for whatever I wanted. I only had like a little pocket money. I'm most excited about the food as well as the shopping. Those two things. So I have been limiting myself with my shopping each recently. I really needed a new wallet because the one that I'm currently using is 10 ringgit from Shopee and it's stained, it's falling apart and I just want a big girl wallet. But I'm trying to hold myself back right now. I really like the one from Coach. The, I think it's called the Bandit Cut Case. It's really, really cute. And again, it has a C on it. Anything with a C logo on it, I just feel a soul connection to it. But I'm trying to hold myself back and I want to see if I can find anything cute in Korea because we all know the shopping scene in Korea is So I noticed that quite a few of you are interested in this camera that I use to vlog. Got some questions on it in my previous videos as well as my Instagram DM. Thought I would give you guys a little review on it. I currently have on the accessories. But yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the Canon V10. It looks like a little minion in my opinion. I brought this to Taiwan with me so if you guys are interested to see the footage, when it's out and about, you can check that travel diary out. I feel like I'm the salesperson for this camera because whenever I'm with my creative friends, we somehow always talk about this camera and this is something that I have recommended to a few people around me. Right off the bat, if you are someone that is looking to get a beginner camera to vlog, to start vlogging with, I think this is a really great option. This is literally the size of a credit card. It's really small. Um, hold on. I am back. I went to get my Canon G7X to give you guys a little size comparison. This is another really famous vlogging camera from Canon as well. It's the G7X and I have the Mark III. Here's the little size comparison and the side view. I would recommend this for vlogging because it comes with a built-in tripod. Ta-da! And it 
it's able to stand on its own and has a flip screen they made this solely for vlogging i think but if you want something that can do both photos and videos i would say get the g7x i like how you can be discreet about filming in public without bringing a external tripod even though this is already small i like how like even with the tripod it's still just a little bit bigger than this camera this shoots in a really wide angle it has a 6.6 mm lens when i'm vlogging i like to show whatever that's in my background to get the widest shot you have to turn off the digital internal stabilization this is great when you are just propping your camera somewhere to shoot whatever that you're doing but if you're on the go you definitely have to turn the internal stabilization on because it's really wobbly, you need to have the stabilization on. I don't usually use the enhanced version because it's, when it's set to enhance, it just crops in a lot and I don't like the look of that. So that's that. I think that's pretty much about it. Now onto the things that I don't really like about this. First of all, I think the image quality is not as good as the G7X even though they have the same sensor. Another thing is that the stabilization of this is not that good. So when you're out and about, you do kind of see like the shakiness. And this camera only has internal batteries, so you can't just switch it out whenever it's it's out. You can still charge it with a power bank, but I just think it's really troublesome to bring all that. So yeah, that's that. The battery life is not that great. And it also does get quite hot when you're shooting for long hours like say about 20 to 30 minutes and it will start to get hot especially this part i also recently switched my video setting to 4k because i wanted to get like better quality video out of my cameras it just get hot so quickly and the battery drains even faster now so yeah that's my little camera review Finally got my hands on some sriracha. I've been looking high and low for this over the past six months. Yay. Hello everyone. Felt like I haven't turned on my camera in a while. It's another weekend vlog. I just realized that I ran out of my contacts this morning, so I'm gonna be wearing my glasses for today. Before heading out, I have some packages that I want to unbox with you guys. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, this is a active wear from this brand called Anya Active. Ah, oh, cute. He <laughs> picked out this top in pink. Also a matching skirt. Oh, the material feels so nice. It has their logo in the back. And of course, it has a shorts underneath it. Oh, this is cute. It's from the uh, cloud line. I love how Tinsera always makes this really cute tops that are padded because we don't have to worry about what to wear underneath it. This one that I picked out has pink bows on it. They have another one in white with black bows that is really cute as well. And I'm gonna be pairing it with this flowy skirt. I was gonna shoot for this today but I ran off my contacts. Yeah, this glasses definitely don't go well with this outfit. I go. I go, I go, I go. I go. Is chewing up the tissues from the packaging. Oh my god! No, no, no. He almost ate a pack of silica packaging. Look. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.